Yo, what's up guys? It's Velvet! Long time no talk! Today I'm sharing a little word that I just wanted to share with everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. It came to me yesterday while I was driving. And I actually filmed it while uh, I was driving in the rain. <laughs> And don't worry, I wasn't holding my phone, but it was raining really hard and you couldn't really hear me and I kept pausing because I was thinking really hard about what I was going to say, but now I know what I'm going to say, so I'm doing a little redo for you. But anyway, long story short. So today I just want to share a word that came to my heart and it's so simple and so straightforward and it's something that we all should live by every day, but it just isn't always at the forefront of my mind at least, um, and that is that life is way too short to not love people, and the reason why I'm saying this is because <sighs> people are hard to deal with, and people can be very unkind and impatient and irritable, including myself, and I just know what it means when someone is nice to me when I'm not nice to them, when someone is patient with me when I'm complaining or when I'm frustrated, when I'm irritable. Just what a mark it's made on my life for someone to go out of their way to encourage me or, you know, whatever it is. Like, even if it's just like a hug or just, you know, a smile or a few kind words. Uh, it just really means a lot and can make or break a moment or a day. And, you know, as Christians, we have the Holy Spirit to help us to love people when they're being hard to love. And it's not a love that comes from ourselves. It's a love that comes from God. And that is how we're able to do it. That's why the Ten Commandments say, you know, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And when Israel couldn't even keep those two commandments, um... You know, I mean, God knew that they wouldn't be able to, which is why he sent Jesus to save them and later equip his people with his Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that works in our hearts and bears the fruit when we're walking in and by the Spirit, the fruit of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control are, are just emulating just, they're just coming out of us. You know, we are image bearers of Christ. That's what the word Christian means. It means to bear his image, like to clothe yourself in Christ, you know, like you're putting on a costume. Um, except the more that we are in the word of God, reading our Bibles and putting ourselves in his presence and spending time in prayer, the, the longer we walk with the Lord, the more we are transformed um, and con transformed from the inside and conformed to the image of Christ. So we are becoming, hopefully, as we are walking with the Lord, I mean, not hopefully, that's a promise that the good work that the Lord has begun in us will be perfected. And we aren't going to look perfect as long as we're on this planet, but throughout our lives, we are, you know, walking on the straight and narrow path towards God and becoming more like Christ. And so our vision gets more and more clear each day that we are seeking the Lord. And of course, we take wrong turns and we fall flat on our faces and we get distracted by anything and everything other than God, um, because we have a real enemy that's out to distract us from spending time with him, from reading the word, um, and a real enemy who wants to divide and dis divide us from our friends and our loved ones and destroy relationships. But also the devil wants to taint our testimony and try our patience and test us excuse me um but don't be mistaken you know people are always watching and if you are the light of the world if you are the salt of the earth you stand out already so um just pray and ask god to help you uh tune into his voice and just walk in the spirit more often um you know it should be our goal to walk in the spirit all the time so that we can be the best testimony to God's kingdom because um, 
We want to be pointing people towards Christ. We want to be sharing the amazing gift of eternal life, the amazing gift of Christ dying on the cross and giving us God's peace and showing us the right way to live. You know, having the truth and having the eyes to read the Bible and have it not be foolishness, that's the greatest gift there is. You know, our faith is a gift. It's not something that we did on our own. It's not something that we worked up to and eventually we're enlightened because we've done so many good works. No, faith was given to us by God and therefore we belong to him and it's our job to uh, testify to God's goodness and give the glory to God always. And we can do that by not complaining and we can do that by not being irritable and selfish and impatient. But when we are irritable and selfish and impatient with other people, we should be quick to confess, quick to apologize and quick to ask for forgiveness. And that's a great testimony too. Um, because as ministers of reconciliation, it's our job to not burn bridges, but it's our job to always seek to restore relationships, even with people that hurt us. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to, you know, be in close proximity to somebody who's toxic to your health, um, but to be loving and forgive them is something that we're called to do. And, you know, sometimes loving people from afar is exactly what we should do. But just to not hold anything over anybody, you know, as Jesus was on the cross, when his, you know, faithful followers had turned him over to Pilate and asked him to crucify Jesus, you know, those are the very people that Jesus died for. We are those people. And Jesus on the cross said, forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. And he still took all of the sins of the world upon himself and died so that we could see God and know him and see the one way to life and life to the full. That is life. There is nothing. There is no life outside of Christ. So um, that's all I wanted to share with you. Go get him. Be kind. But ask the Holy Spirit to fill you because it's by it's by God's spirit that we're able to uh, show the love of God to other people. So that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked what you heard today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, follow me on my other social media platforms. I'm trying to be more active. So love you. See you. Bye.